my dears, this is Sarah from SheHoldsDaily.com and today we are going to continue our series. If you want to watch more, you can always look back. We have a whole playlist. But this is my Styling Thrifted Decorations Part 6. And I've, I'm collecting things that are seasonal so that I can really like hone in four times a year on seasonal ideas. So these I've been collecting and I have spring that we will be covering today. And this gives you some time to have the ideas and then look for your stuff and then be ready here in the next six weeks or so for your space. Okay, so first of all, I found this interesting little desk organizer and it's plastic. It's totally 70s looking to me. And I paid $6 for it at Goodwill. I looked at this and I thought I could paint it if I end up not liking the color. And I thought it would be really cute for organizing seed packets, little pretty seed packets. After that, I found these hydrangeas and I like to check the floral section in thrift stores just, just to see. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that isn't gonna work, but I always look for berries, I look for really nice greenery, and I like white flowers, sometimes sunflowers, those things. So these, the only thing I don't like about these hydrangeas, and I paid $3.99 for them, they are bigger than I like. So to me, they do kind of look fake. So I'm gonna do a little trick with floral tape and try to shrink these down and make them look more like what I actually would have growing in my yard. Next, I found this plate, $2.99. And that's about all I would pay for a plate. That's just my standard. So, and, and some of these, I can't even remember. You know how like they'll have a color of tag each week and then it's 99 cents or it's half off? Some of these I might have done better than what I'm telling you. But uh, full price was $2.99. I'm really drawn to transferware. I don't know. I, I may get sick of it at some point, but I really like this. I think it fits the whole like cottage core direction that farmhouse is taking. Just heads up, that is happening. So um, it has sort of this whimsical old world, old English look to it, which fits great. And it doesn't have a Christmas scene on it. Some of these green ones do. This one has acorns and a little farm scene. So I, my thought is, as I'm looking at all of this, that I will do, incorporate this into my porch, my spring decorating on the porch. And plates aren't necessarily like my first choice for a porch. So hopefully I won't get a bunch of flack for that in the comments. <laughs> but you may see some plates on my porch. Okay, and then next up I found some berries. Now these didn't have a price tag and I just, I wanna tell you what to do when that happens. This is what I do. I take it up to the front as I'm checking out and I'll say, these didn't have a price tag, would you take 99 cents? And they almost always say yes. So that's what I did. These are white berries, love them. I can work them into other greenery and and flower arrangements that I have. They would look good in a basket. You could do a sprig in a little, you know, pretty glass jar. There's a lot, there's a lot here. Okay, so I found this clock. I don't see a price tag on it, which tells me I maybe paid 99 cents for it. But what I liked about it was that it was just like a medium-sized clock, little wall clock. It, this is just plastic. I, if I wanted to change the color, I could spray paint it, I could use rub and buff, I could make it look galvanized. I could do a number of things to change the, the finish. But to me, it feels like something that maybe would be out in a garden, like a barometer. And so I feel like it could work for this greenhouse spring feel that I'm always kind of reaching for. So some type of a clock like this could look good on a porch or within your home decorating for spring. And last but not least, actually there is another one that was last, but we'll talk about that in a moment. I got this really cute container and it looks like a flower pot and it looks like a cloche kind of and it looks like milk glass because it has this little beadwork detailing on it, $2.99. And I just really liked it. Now, I wouldn't use it like a pot because I don't want to see a bunch of dirt. And 
I'm not like, like I wouldn't put candy in this because it's going out on a porch, you know. So I've really kind of wrestled with what to do with this, but I'll just show you what I came up with. Um, anything that kind of speaks of gardening at all, it could work. So that's why like I'm saying this looks to me like a flower pot and I just, I just think it's unique. So we're gonna do something with this. Okay, and then to tell the truth, there was one other piece. I found this paper mache rabbit, like this big. And this is a good idea. Like if you have Easter decorations, I don't know, one time I did this with a lamp that had a rabbit on it. Or if you have little figurines or something and you like the shape of it, but it's, I don't know, color, it just has the colors are off. Okay, we can deal with colors. Colors are the easiest thing to change. But so I had this, I found this paper mache rabbit, like this big, really cute and really sort of elegant and quite, you know, just kind of quiet lines. And I paid 99 cents for it and I was gonna paint it with my faux concrete product that I painted that tabletop with. Um, you can watch the video on that. Yeah, so last night I was kind of like trying to get a feel. I had a bunch of ideas, stuff out on my porch and I set the rabbit out on the porch and then this morning I found this. We won't be doing that. Just so you know, I just like want to share with you sometimes that projects go sideways because of dogs. <laughs> yes, thank you. Other than that, I'm gonna get to work. I don't have a ton. I'm actually may not paint this. I just have some cleaning to do. I have some tightening up of these hydrangeas. And yeah, I'm gonna go mess around and we'll see what we got out on the porch. So I ended up tucking some pretty seed packets into that letter organizer and putting that into my little gardening cabinet. I have it on my porch. I had some old vintage honey jars that I tucked in on the shelf and then decided to just actually put the two green plates in the cabinet. I feel like that made the most sense instead of hanging them on the walls out here. Now, one of the things that I want to start doing and that you'll see more of this year is to bring in more color. And that goes along with the whole cottage core idea. I want, I really am starting to love mustard yellow. I put a couple spots of that in on the porch this year. I ended up hanging my Cavallini poster that I made. I have a tut an old tutorial on how to make these from a piece of wrapping paper for $10. And so I had that on hand, I hung that just on the front of the two doors, used my trusty fern wreath that I pull out often around here, but I added a little cream bow this time. I actually took it straight off of my Christmas wreath and put it on the fern wreath, so you can do that too if you want. And then I ended up putting the clock up over on this side next to the two chairs. These chairs were on my other porch. I moved these over for the spring. I, I had this table that was red. You may remember from my Christmas decorating and I painted it this, I have this new sagey green color, Miss Mustard Seed Milk Paint. I, it's called Luck It's Green. And I really like the, the sweetness of it. I think you'll be seeing more of that around She Holds Dearly this year. And then I had a little yellow book. I had this beautiful velvet ribbon from a dear friend and some silk green ribbon. So I just kind of put it all in here with my gardening twine in, and you'll recognize the little glass container that I have found with a candle. I ended up just using the berries in with the hydrangeas. I think that's a good option. So you may find florals when you're out thrifting and you just need to combine them and you're good. So I, I've got a couple pillows out here and a couple throw blankets and topiaries and a little watering can and we are good. So hopefully you got some inspiration for your spring porch and just encouraging you to try a little pop of color this year and see what you think.
All right, before you head out, I do have a checklist that you can take with you when you're thrifting. I'll put the link below. So thank you so much for stopping by and watching this month's video. If you're new here, please consider hitting the subscribe button, hit the bell so you get your reminder, and stay tuned for more videos where interior design is made easy. All right, take care. I'll talk to you soon.